has been a beautiful journey i think this is one thing about life no matter how struggling your period has been or your fears has been but when the 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 past has been you know but when you look back it's always like oh it was such a wonderful ride it was such a wonderful ride the worst thing is like then sitting at home you like i'm not used to this i'm not meant for it i'm not used to this i need to work ott has content space and it has something to offer at all age gaps hello and welcome everybody this is sukarna today we have ankur nayar joining us with ee times tv hi ankur how are you doing very well sukarna how are you i'm good so tell us very intriguing trailer of the hun uh, tell us what's it about or what's her role in it uh sugana dahan is uh, is a wonderful concept is a wonderful uh, story i mean now when you've seen it it's it's a, it's a nice thriller and uh, uh, compiled with uh, the mythological even saw the probably i would say like events that happened in the history at some point in time so it's compiled with that my story my character is of ornithologist so they are the group of people uh, a branch of zoology zoologist so who they deal in in birds you know birds w- bird watching and their in depth study and uh, their behavior pattern so it's basically they deal with them so that's that's basically what my character is and how this guy and this guy have been like whose characters uh anvi so they have been like the childhood buddies and at what point in life they come together and uh, now all this has happened so in chilaspura all this has happened so now how they dealing with it so supporting each other through through this so that's how we got a glimpse of you in the trailer uh, and like such powerful uh, and renowned names uh, in the web series how was it how was your working experience with them it was absolutely wonderful it was absolutely wonderful i majority of my scenes were with this guy and i would say she's one of the brilliant actors i uh got an opportunity to work with now uh, otherwise i would say actors like saurav chukla he's like well, not an anime actor what an actor yeah. i mean like you know he's one actor who changes your perception in, in everything he does you know the kind of character you've always portrayed and he's he has always portrayed is different like even if it's been portrayed for the hundredth of time or probably the thousand of time but the way he'll do it is going to be different is going to be completely different so he's one character he's he's one actor i absolutely admire i absolutely admire and uh tiska is such a brilliant actor i mean the kind of comfort and uh she she makes the actor feel so comfortable you know the kind of warmth and comfort she has so that's commendable and for her it's basically her story and for an actor like her who had the type of the longest schedule the toughest schedule and apart from that still performing and looking ravishing in every scene of yours is like it's commendable it's not like a piece of cake so when you have really hard and long schedules blind a few so it's pretty commendable so tell us five reasons why why audience should watch the hen five reasons why audience should watch the hen because uh, i would say uh the f- more first and the foremost reason you look at the at the trailer at the promo and the most important thing you decide for yourself i mean do you feel like watching it is it giving you anything different is it giving you anything intriguing is it uh, are the actors not good enough is the production value the kind what you look at it is not up to the mark like the hollywood standards or probably the world class standards if you the direction you think is not good enough i mean the vfx the effects you see is like not par excellence the platform in itself hot star disney i mean what better can you ask so i i mean and the content the content when you look at it is it not giving you something new something that you haven't seen before so i would say like just the promo says it all rather than and me saying anything or probably you saying anything audience they are loving the promo they just i think there's everything for for an actor for a viewer for everybody to 
to have a look at it and to see how it's going, how it is, and encourage us in all the hard work that we've done. Of course. And as uh, shows me calm, करते करते you know actors काफी बार uh, like they share real life chill and thrill experiences while shooting for uh, such mystery thrillers. Any such uh, incident uh, while working for the show? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing spooky happened. Luckily, nothing, nothing spooky happened. And uh, I mean, I don't remember anything ever spooky happening to me. I have been. Uh, I consider myself blessed. So things have always helped and happened in my favor. So I mean, I've always felt uh, the the God spirit around me. You know, the God spirit around me. Uh, maybe enveloped by it like a lot of times. I thought. I mean, you know, oh shit! I just got saved. I just got saved. I mean, a lot of times it happened to me. So it's. I would say just like the God spirit. I mean, I still remember. This was like years back. I was uh, crossing. You know, I mean, like this is probably in my twelfth. I was just crossing the railway track, and you're supposed to like just the railway track, crossing the railway track, and then uh, uh, going for math class. So all of a sudden, I mean, I put my foot on the track. I mean, you had to cross the track. There was no other path. So I put my foot on the track, and immediately in front of mine, he pulled me back, and the train goes stop. So that happened, and uh, then uh, I was. Uh, I, yeah, I was shooting for this. Uh, it was a short film or something. I was shooting for it, and uh, I was wearing dhoti. So I was supposed to jump in the pond. I was supposed to jump in the pond, and that's it. You go in the water, you know, dhoti. Your feet are stuck in the water, so you just can't move. So you're just like it's the water is just pulling you down. The water is just pulling you down, and people are like, and I'm shouting, screaming, and I'm like, "Bachao, bachao!" And people are like, "Oh wow, what a wonderful actor! What a beautiful scene! What a natural look! What a natural look!" And I literally had to start abusing, "Abe, bachao! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die!" So I would say, and people they just came. So a lot of things they just happened. I mean, uh, a few more incidents, things just happened for me. I mean, like this. Just they 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 just saved me, so I mean I would always say I've been the lucky one with the the God spirit around me. So nothing spooky ever felt lucky. Ah, uh, what are the challenges did you face while shooting for this show, and how did you prepare uh, for your role? See, preparing for the role it happened luckily for me because. I during the lockdown I happened to go to Jim Corbett. I mean I was shooting in uh, during the lockdown I was shooting in uh, uh, Muradabad and after that I went to Jim Corbett my family was there so I went to, I went to Jim Corbett and there I happened to meet these people who were bird watchers. So I happened to meet them and I happened to spend some time with them few days with them so I mean I went with them as well for bird watching and how it is and there I realized you know it's I mean for me I felt it's so boring. I mean For us guys, for for somebody from Mumbai and for for an actor, you need action all the time. You need something interesting, something happening all the time. But it's like you're sitting for hours and hours and hours non-stop trying to spot a bird, try to place a bird. Oh wow! And when they capture it, oh wow! We I found the bird bungee. I found the bird, and you're taking pictures and you're just enjoying the moment. So then I realized, you know, it's such, it's it's. It's something different. You require a lot of patience. Your hobby or your profession, it, uh, it, it really dominates your behavior. It really dominates your behavior. So I realized. So while performing Sandeep, while performing this on a pathologist, I realized. I mean, I could just put two plus two together, and I was like, this is what I wanted. This guy has to be like really patient. And every scene of mine, you know, I could put that calmness. You know, that poise. That calm, that composed character. Okay, fine. Even if the worst has happened, you know, okay, fine. You know, when you have your, you know, the head on your shoulder, when you have your head on your shoulder, then you can think sanely, and that can only happen when you're at peace and you're patient. If you're a bird watcher, you know, you are dealing with birds. You're de- dealing with like the colorful creature. Birds are like one of the most colorful creatures. So you're dealing with colorful creature. And when you're dealing with colorful creature, you, as it is, have you know that refreshing and the refreshing sense in you. So I used to, I used to make it a point, like the, every scene of mine, there has this has to be some kind of the freshness in it. Some kind of freshness has to be, in, you know, 
considering the profession I am in, like, and and plus he is working on the birds which are kind of getting extinct, extinct. So, and that also another thing, like when you when you are uh, giving life to somebody, when you're giving life to somebody, and that also like when your hobby has converted into a profession, like giving life to somebody, which you can only give when you are full of life yourself. You know, if you are yourself, depressed, you can't give life. You can't think of giving life. You're probably working on something which is kind of getting interesting. You can't think of giving life to someone. So I, I, I mean, there were different layers which I want, which I wanted to incorporate. Being such a bubbly guy, being you know, being a bubbly guy, but yet uh, that calm, composed, and that poised character. So I. I happen to meet those people luckily just before that so I could gather a lot of things from them that's how prepared that was also by chance so I'm I'm yeah. saying I've been like kind blessed so and that's how similar lo- role happened to you and exactly and the similar role happened to me and I was like when they told me okay fine this is what it is I was like oh wow it happened I just met these kind of people just some time back and I was kind of impressed by the character I was like the character of those people so i was like kind to i'll try to use it and luckily i got a chance to use it immediately so and uh, yeah now you were saying like the hardship uh, that's what you said right what are challenges, the challenges yeah challenges we faced yeah. uh challenges faced uh, i would say like the places that we were shooting and while we were shooting at those places it was like really hot when you're shooting in uh, the mines so what happens like when you're shooting in those granite mines in Rajasthan and all those kind of places? The, the the sun has the multiplier effect because the sun is coming from top and then it is reflecting from all sides. You know, granite then it's reflect, reflecting from all sides. So those kind of challenges definitely were there when they you know, when they kind of affect you. But then you realize, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, like it's part of a job. And end of the day. Uh, I mean, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. It doesn't work for you. So it did. It was a bit. It was a bit challenging, and now we're just so looking forward to the success of it. So that's how. And you have been a part of this industry for more than two decades. Like, do you feel digital platform has uh, been a has given a new lease of hope to actors? Uh, because on TV, like you have done so many TV shows. uh in tv roles are often limited uh what's your take on this i completely agree with you i completely agree with you because uh i really had to uh explore uh, the ott platform i really had to explore it for a long time i mean it did not happen before i don't know if i mean maybe i was lucky enough because if, if it had to happen on a platform like hotstar you something so that's like you know you are uh, starting something with a bang or if it happens with a bang nothing other if it goes unnoticed then what's the point so i'm happy that this happening now and definitely uh, ott has a lot to perform ott has a lot to offer you and a lot for you to perform on it because there are ott is all about the characters that you're playing it's not about oh ठीक है किसी को आपने सामने खड़ा कर दिया सूट वूट कर दिया ये कर दिया सो इट्स लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक जस्ट बीइंग देयर एंड जस्ट डूइंग योर थिंग इट्स लाइक यू वर्किंग ऑन द कैरेक्टर इट्स लाइक समथिंग यू रियली वांट टू परफॉर्म एंड ओटीटी हैज कंटेंट स्पेस एंड इट हैज समथिंग टू ऑफर एट ऑल एज गैप्स वेदर इट्स इट्स फॉर द ऑडियंस और इट्स फॉर एक्टर्स इट्स नॉट लाइक यू जस्ट देयर एंड प्रोबब्ली जस्ट बीइंग वेस्टेड सो इट्स it's not there i mean you hardly see i haven't seen anything like you know anything in ott like an actor getting wasted or probably something like that i've never seen that so this is something which i really admire about this platform it offers you so much to perform and you have been part of the tv industry when like there was this boom of k serial right with kasorti zindagi ki and like even now uh, with chiku like you have played so many characters over a span of 20 years uh how has been your journey what are the struggles you faced then as an actor uh what struggle i faced then as an actor 
it has been a beautiful journey i think this is one thing about life no matter how struggling your period has been or your affairs has been but when the 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 past has been you know but when you look back it's always like oh it was such a wonderful ride it was such a wonderful ride i mean i remember i had come to mumbai so i mean when i came to mumbai there was nothing i had i mean i don't know what to do like next morning wake up go where do what kahan jaun kis se milu kya karu i had no idea i mean they just like you know you are from small town you're from i'm from pathan but you're from small town and then okay fine you this one fine day you develop interest in acting is oh, i want to be an actor so and then your parents also support you they're like okay fine they yeh nahi sikhate ki nahi bhai itna aasan nahi hai itna aasan nahi hai it takes a lot so they're like okay fine go try yourself if you like it do it so they've always been encouraging so one fine day you reach mumbai and you realize oh it's such a huge city mai kya karunga aap kisse milunga how are things going to be so then you decide okay fine once they let's take one step at a time you join the acting class i so joined acting classes and then uh there there was a three month course but like after a month i was like let's see yeah let's see yeah, where it takes you so i started circulating my pictures that at that time it used to be like the concept of portfolios you go and circulate your portfolios to the production houses so i went there and luckily i got the kanyadan was getting over that show kanyadan was getting over so i got to perform like last four five episodes in kanyadan and the story happened the same production house lucky i'm very grateful to that production house for giving me opportunities again and again to to showcase my talent though i was not at all talented at that time so but still i'm really grateful to them for everything for the chance that they've given me otherwise i would have probably packed my bags and probably gone gone back to pathankar so uh yeah because sorry happened and uh, then after that like my struggle was i would say like I've been lucky enough that my struggle really didn't kind of happen because Kusorti, I was doing Kusorti. Then after Kusorti, I mean, I somehow had to leave midway. I mean, struggles. There were definitely struggles in personal life. In personal life, there were definitely struggles. I mean, something or the other was kind of going on up and down. But professionally, I was working. I mean, like Kusorti, I left Kusorti because I got Kashmir. Uh, Kashmir. The minute Kashmir got over, I before Kashmir got over, I got raped. Then simultaneously, this minute I got chance, and all those kind of shows, G, this minute I got chance, one thing or the other. And that time, I used to get to know from uh, the production houses. Okay, fine, sir. Up and now your show is going, kind of going off here. So we are coming up with a new show. So we would like to brief you. I said yes. I mean, I had no idea is going off here. Okay, fine, sir. Let's brief. So one thing or the other. I mean, like life was going on, work was happening simultaneously. Everything was like kind of smooth. Yeah, but like. last few years when you start thinking yes that i have done but i want to do something more i want to do something different i just and i mean i am doing it but i'm not getting that kind of you know satisfaction the creative thing so then you kind of become choosy so i mean yeah but otherwise life has been wonderful apart from few things here and there which you always tend to forget i mean like once you probably see the bigger picture of life you forget about few things here and there so it's been a wonderful journey and i'm still a part of journey yeah enjoy the journey a new journey is beginning with the ott platform yes hopefully it's a new journey and it's a long journey and will definitely bring me closer to my destination to the dreams that i've always thought of and dreams that i've dreamt of also so, like in between uh, like as you said you started getting choosy and you have done back to back shows so in between like did you take up roles just to be seen and like working uh, in the industry uh yes i would say that definitely because what happens like you know once you know when you have been there when you have been when you have been there and you are working around the clock for an actor and for me what i've seen in mumbai for me work has been like i mean you're working 30 days in a month you were working 25 days in a month you were working 27 25 days in a month that's been like my story for years so once you kind of think once you think okay fine choosy and then you're not if you not working this is not happening because as, as i wanted to do it the worst thing is like then sitting at home you're like i'm not used to this i'm not meant for it i'm not used to this i need to work i mean i just need to work that's that's important i mean it's not like you with god's grace is not that okay fine financially you had to probably work because financially you were like unstable or probably 
not doing fine so that was not the case i mean everything has been god has been like really grateful but that feeling this is what i have been doing i mean last so many years i have just been working around the clock i mean there's never been like to think of otherwise you know something else so now i need to work i need to work so, so i mean sometimes you do kind of do things you know I, yes i just want to do them i mean I, I, i'm saying i'm being lucky i had done i had agreed to a lot of web shows even before i had agreed to like not a lot a few web shows before some say maybe things did not happen on their own sometimes when i was like sometimes i probably was a mo- and you know, sometimes didn't happen on their own so now when i look back i'm like i'm so grateful that didn't happen i'm so grateful it didn't happen so i'm grateful it happened at this time when it it's meant to happen it should happen and on the on the wonderful platform that i can probably only i could have dreamt of to start off my career with on this platform i started off my career when i had started tv now with now you got me you know taken me back to the memory games now i'm thinking when i started off my tv career i had started off with uh, star plus i had done all the shows on star plus one after the other one of the sorty desh mere lagla hoga chand jeet uh, jeet uh, and uh, uh, shows were like back to back i like so many years i was doing shows on on uh, Uh, this thing star plus and now when i'm uh, this thing making a, a fine doing a different platform that also like is, yeah. is disney's hot star so yeah. that's like a similarity so i would say like thankful for uh, to these the channel people as well and as an actor one lesson or memory uh, from kasorti uh, sets that you still carry with yourself uh, even now uh from kasori sets uh yeah they got a few memories because that was like the first thing i ever did in mumbai so i remember when i i just got it by chance i mean like i was a very bad actor i just got it by chance so i still remember when they used to be like you have to say you are these are the lines so lines you have to make Like, I mean, you keep sitting, thinking, thinking, thinking about them, and then I could exit from here. How do I do? How do I go? Where do I go? So I was like extremely. I mean, I was extremely bad. I mean, I really can't thank the production house, the directors of that time. You know, that production house, the directors. That how could they? I mean, like a person like me could have lost patience. Had I been a director, had I been a producer that time, I would have lost patience. Arey, arey, kya kar rahi hai? He's wasting so much time. He's wasting so much time, and when TV is all about time, he's wasting so much time. Come on! And so grateful that that production house uh, gave me repeated chances, and the directors also they worked with me. So I'm so so grateful to them. And I still remember that time. Uh, that time, my uh, girlfriend had come. She was not in India. She had come, and I mean, like forever. So I used to pick her up. and uh, spend the entire time with her and then it was then like drop her and probably go off to my school so it was like days i think 5 6 days that i hadn't slept i hadn't slept and plus we were shooting kasorties we were shooting nights and like our shooting time we were like completely different like because a lot of wedding used to happen a lot of celebrations used to happen and because it was a bengali family so we used to shoot a lot of nights sometimes durga puja i remember once i mean i just I was on the set, and I was required, and I just closed my eyes. Some wedding thing was happening, and I was like, I passed out. People are shouting, screaming, "Ut, ut, ut!" They were shouting, screaming, and I was like, I don't know. I was, I slept. I slept. I just, I refused to wake up. I slept. So then I was like, and they, and maybe like they kind of got very disco. Yeah, okay, but okay, okay. So that's what, like, you know, sometimes it takes a toll on you. You know, okay, fine, you're excited, also, okay, fine, that you're working, that you're meeting your probably your friends after years and all. So at the same time, you know, it takes a toll on you. So that's how it's. it's this is like one of the few things that I remember. It's, otherwise, that was the first show. There's so many wonderful memories to share with you. Uh, that's how. 
थैंक यू सो मच अंकुर फॉर गिविंग अस योर टाइम विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट एंड इन फ्यूचर एज वेल इट वाज ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू थैंक यू सुकन्या थैंक यू